It's been a long day for me. I've been out and about, running around, taking care of some business. But I'm finally settled at home, and I finally get to open up this box from Ethan Finds Out. Hi, everybody. Yes, he was in the box. Quick little story before we get to this box, and it's really not much of a story, I guess you'd say. It's just more of a what happened recently. I um, I bought some pops, really just two pop figures from a custom artist, Far Out Man Customs, and I bought them because I mean they just looked really cool. But at the same time, I wasn't like the I'm not like the hugest fans of the characters. So I had a feeling that they wouldn't stay with me for very long. I pretty much knew that at some point I was going to either use them as a trade or basically sort of pay them forward to people in the community and hope you all understand what the phrase pay it forward means. That basically means I've had a lot of people that have been very nice to me and just sent me things out of kindness. So that's something that I like to do as well. You know, I don't think it always has to be about a trade. You know, sometimes, like I said, I just like to pay things forward or just if I see people doing a good job, basically, I think, you know, reward them in some way. But um, Karen from Ethan finds out she was so appreciative that of what I sent her. And of course, I will link that video down in, in um, the description. And I really do love that video. It was really nice to see how happy Karen and her son Ethan got when they opened up the package. What is it? Look at this! It's a new one! Holy cow! That alone was rewarding enough for me, but Karen, she did decide to send something my way. Is in I'm pretty sure it's something that I've been talking about recently on my channel that I really wanted to get. And um, in fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what, what it is <laughs> because uh, we did end up talking about it. She wanted to make sure that I didn't end up with a double. See, it says this side up here on the package. Um, just look around the box real quick because she did put some stickers on here. These are the pigs from Angry Birds. I think most people are familiar with those characters by now. Ooh, I didn't even notice that face there before. <laughs> like she's up to something. Got some more Angry Birds stickers here. By the way, I haven't played that game in a while, but I know that one annoys me. That That's like the, I think the boomerang one. Really tough to aim that one. But I haven't played that game in a long time, though, but... Yeah, you all are here for an unboxing, so let's go ahead and get into this box. And just like that, the paper is off, and right away, I feel like I'm being trolled here just because I got another Women of Power box here in my home. If, if you've been following my channel, you know that this box, I did not order it. Somehow, it, the order still went through, um, and I did contact the Collector core, and they said that... uh. I, really they didn't explain it very well why I ended up with the box I guess they basically were trying to say that I ordered it but I'm pretty sure I did not I did not have auto renew on auto renew has been off for a good while on the collector course so I ended up with this box anyway and then I traded away but of course this is not the actual women of power box you just use this for the packing and um these boxes are pretty heavy duty so they are pretty good to reuse if you're going to send out you know some figures in but yeah, let's go ahead and get past the actual box because, like I said, I was not a fan of the Women of Power box. Let's focus on what's actually inside of this one here. Oh, and uh, right up top here, we do have an envelope. And my birthday is coming up very soon. Um... You know, I'm a Leo, very proud to be a Leo. So my birthday's coming up soon, August 15th. And she sent a card here that says, Happy Birthday, FM. And again, we got an Angry Bird sticker. Now that that um, bird there, I do like because he's the one that uh, blows up. So if you want to get a lot of points in Angry Birds, yeah, I like using him. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, carefully open this up, trying not to damage the sticker because I like the sticker. Hey. And I did a good job there, so sticker still intact. So let me go ahead and get the card out. We do have a card here. Okay, and it says here, 
a special birthday wish just for you. I really like this card. I, I like the uh, the coloring on it and everything. It's nice looking. Uh, let me just look over the card real quick before I decide if I'm going to read this aloud or not. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll go ahead and read it aloud. It says, Hi, FM. Thanks for your kindness and friendship. I hope this gift gets you before you go out and purchase this gift. But regardless, I know you'll appreciate it very much. With lots of support, Karen. And then it says, P.S. Ethan drew you a dinosaur dog named Max. <laughs> so there's Max. He actually named him. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah, so I got to find a good spot for this. As a matter of fact, I might just go ahead and um, add this to my wall over here where I put all of my letters and everything that I receive. So, yeah, that's very nice. Okay. And I see that what's inside of here, she packaged it very well. I always love receiving things from true collectors because they know how to take care of things. We go ahead and move the box out of the way. You, you can see here, and that's not even all the packaging that was in the box, but this is just, you know, a good job of wrapping it up. So, I'm using some pretty weird scissors here. These, these are not really meant for um, packages like this, but I have such a hard time keeping up with scissors lately for some reason. Okay. And now before I show you what she sent me, I do want to point out that uh, if you've been following my channel, you know this Harley Quinn figure here, the black and white Harley Quinn figure, uh, which is a DC collectible figure. It was sent to me by Cat D. That's part of a, a trade that we did. Really loved that figure. And then immediately after that, or really right around that same time, I saw another Harley Quinn figure or statue that really caught my eye. And I was like, of course, got to have it because I'm such a huge Harley Quinn fan. And yes, absolutely. If Karen had not sent this to me, then I would have been on the hunt for this figure. So this is the DC Bombshell Noir Exclusive Edition, and that is a Barnes and Noble, excuse me, Barnes and Noble exclusive. Okay, this Harley Quinn figure here. I, right away, I love the color is the, the coloring of it. It's basically grayscale, but then it has touches of color. You got the green eyes there, and then the red accents throughout her clothing. So this is a great looking statue here. And of course, I, I'm gonna have to get it out of the package here in just a moment, but Take a look at the back here. There are two other figures here in this Noir style. I think I think there's more bombshells than this in this style, but there are at least two more that are Noir versions. So yeah, Catwoman and Wonder Woman. I think Catwoman is supposed to be a GameStop, but I checked with two GameStops and they act like they really didn't know anything about it. And no, actually one guy said that he he what he did think they were supposed to get it and he doesn't know what happened with it. Wonder Woman, I'm not so sure where she's supposed to be at. If any of you know where Catwoman and Wonder Woman are, just uh, let me know and help people out in the comments in case you know they're wondering about that as well. Now, I am a fan of Wonder Woman. I'm really looking forward to her solo movie. Don't, necess don't necessarily feel like I need that figure, though. But I gotta say, now that I've seen the Catwoman one, I saw somebody else unbox it. I might get that one, too. I'm not the hugest Catwoman fan, but... They did an excellent job with that statue. So yeah, I might, I don't know, I'm, maybe later on in the month I might get that one too if I see it. Okay, but let's go ahead and get the figure out so we can take a better look at it. So here she goes out of the package and it was very easy to remove her from the package. I like the way they did the package there. It was the two plastic sides and they had these divots here that made it very easy just to take her out carefully. So... Getting to the details of the figure, first of all, she has this stand here, which, you know, is like the shape of the bomb, as in bombshell. And in case you don't know, these figures, they're modeled off of basically like the, the pinup girls of the, I think, I don't want to say World War I or World War II, World War II era, I think more so World War II. And you know, the, the pinup girls sometimes, they weren't just sewing posters and calendars, sometimes they would actually be uh, drawn onto the sides of the planes, even the fighter planes, so... Yeah, that, that's where this style came from. And this style became so popular. It started off with just artwork. And then DC actually turned it into comics. And from the comics, we have these figures now. And I actually wouldn't be surprised if it keeps going even further. If the 
if the popularity stays up never know we might actually get like an animated version of them at least i don't th i don't know if it would go to live action but at least an animated version of the dc bombshells and i think that would be pretty cool and i think it would be interesting too to see how they would basically translate the male characters into that era as well so i really like the details here i like how um with her ponytails up here you see how the color fades there like the goggles that she has there she has her pop gun classic harley quinn so it's interesting too that she has like this it's sort of like blush going on there and they decided to keep them gray instead of giving it any color and i, I think that was a smart decision if they would have had those colors they would stand out probably way too much and just kind of throw off the look of her face there so that was definitely a smart decision there she has dog tags going on i noticed that too she so this is almost like a um yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, this was like a, a fighter pilot's jacket. Because you can see that she has a metal there on the side of her jacket. And it has like the, looks like the fur there. Although it doesn't feel like fur. This is completely vinyl. But it looks like that fur collar going on there. Got the short shorts going on, of course. I'm not sure if this, what this is intended to be right here. Or if it's just part, if it's meant to be like part of the stocking there. Or, or if there's more to it. Really not sure about that there. And going on down to, of course, classic diamond pattern that goes along with Harley Quinn in the boots on. So, yeah, all around great detail to this figure. And you see they took care of it with their hair and everything going on to the back and everything. The detailing continues. They weren't lazy about that at all. So this is a great looking statue. I really love this. And... You know, I really want to do this as well while I have this other figure here, too. This is something I'm really liking about Harley Quinn. I like when comic book characters are flexible and no, that's not a joke about Harley Quinn. I'm just saying that I, I like when they're flexible in terms of you can play around with their look. There are some characters you really can't push them too far before they start to look like somebody completely different or they just don't look quite right. But like Superman, I think you could play around with Superman to a certain extent, but there definitely have been some Superman costumes that just really fell flat. But Batman's a character that's very versatile in terms of his appearance. Spider-Man works as well. And I now I think Harley Quinn, you know, the creators, I give it up to the, the artists of DC. They're really finding a lot of different ways to make Harley Quinn have different appearances, but still feel like Harley Quinn. And, you know, that takes a lot of talent to do that. Even with the Harley Quinn that we're going to see in the Suicide Squad. And by the way, people, we're a week away. As of this video being posted, we are a week away from that movie. And I'm so excited about that. Like I said, if it's halfway decent, I'm going to see it at least twice. So, yeah, I, I can't wait for that. But the look that she has in that movie, and I know she has more than one look, one look going on in the movie. But still, it feels like Harley Quinn. So that just takes some talent to do that and I really like that you know they're doing these different things with the character so one more thing I definitely got to say I went out on a hunt today and that was mainly for to in fact I'm not even going to say much about that you all if you follow my channel you'll see why I was out today but um one thing I was not able to find is the little the little um bombshell figures they come in like cans or whatever um I heard that they were at Walmart. I didn't have any luck there. I checked some other stores. So I'm going to assume that they're just not in the area yet. I've seen some people opening them up um, on other YouTube channels. So you all just let me know if they are in your area and where you are. Just I want to kind of get an idea of, you know, how they're spreading out. Like if they're because I mean, I'm here in South Carolina. I just want to get an idea of where they are and if they're on the way. And also, please let me know if you have found them what stores did you find them in because um yeah i'm trying to hunt those down and i definitely want to do some opening of those figures here on my channel because they are mystery figures and i really like to do those videos so just help me out if you see them just let me know where you found them and you know get, give me an idea of where i can possibly find them but uh one more thing i do want to say before i wrap this up and i'm sorry that this video is going on you know a little bit long but um Definitely, I want to thank Karen of Ethan Finds Out. You didn't have to do this. I mean, I just was, you know, trying to give you something out of kindness because I knew you would really appreciate that figure. And you all, please make sure that you do check out the video, see what I sent her. And within that video, she also won 
a giveaway from Funko J. Um, so make sure that you check that out as well. You know what she received from him. In fact, what I'll do is I'll link down the video to Ethan finds out where Karen unboxed what I sent her. And I'll also put a link down there for Funko J's channel so you can check him out as well if you're not familiar with them. You know, so make sure you check out both of them. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe. But uh, something else that's on my mind real quick, I, I just want to give a big shout out to the community. Um, because I I'll just say this bluntly, I know that sometimes people give and there's an agenda behind it. And I don't really see that going on in this community. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, I like when people just give out of kindness. There's no strings attached. It's not to try to manipulate. It's not so that they can throw it in your face later on. Anything like that. It's not trying to control. You know, I mean, I, I've just seen that too much in my lifetime. Uh, I still see it in my life, like going on in my life. And I just don't like it. You know, if you're going to give, you give because you want to. And that's a beautiful thing about this community. I've had so many people that just gave out of kindness. And that's why I try to give back so much to the community because I really appreciate that that's a beautiful thing you know and I hope we all just can you know keep that moving um of course we all got bills to pay we all got to take care of responsibilities first but you know we when we could do things for each other I think that really is a beautiful thing and I really do appreciate that and I appreciate you all that have you know continued to support me and like I've been saying you know a lot more coming up on my channel I'm going to try to keep my um content as consistent as I can although this is you know my birthday month coming up so I do want to try to get out and celebrate a little bit some and then uh, things are going to be kind of hectic at work at the same time but I will do my best to keep the content coming but again Karen um, Ethan thank you so much you know I really love this statue uh, I think both of these look great side by side uh, that that's just awesome to get both of these so close together and they're both very different versions of Harley, but they're still, you know, awesome. <laughs> that That's pretty amazing. I'm really happy with these. You all let me know what you think about these. And till next time, you all take care.